For the first time in California prisons, offenders can achieve full apprenticeships. We are working with the California Department of Industrial Relations with the Division of Apprenticeship Standards. Right now we have over 2,000 men and women that are currently registered and over 500 already completed. And you guys are going to be added to that list, so congratulations. So as a secretary and the chair of the PIA board, I'm inspired by days like this. You graduates, you've achieved what most people cannot. But importantly, what you've achieved, you've made decisions that other inmates throughout this whole state are choosing not to make. I came to PIA to gain valuable job experience so I can do something different once I was released. It's a great feeling to have these skills and to be able to feel confident about myself stepping out of here because it's a lot of, it's a lot of struggle not having job experience. PIA's job is to help you every step of the way. And so I want to make sure that you understand that that helps there, but I need you to engage in this fight, right? You guys need to be fighting harder than we are. And I'll tell you, we come to work and we fight every day to try to figure out a way to get you better suited for parole and get you the, the tools you need to be successful out there. Let's give it up for Jamal Thompson. Being that I, I'm, I'm in a process of getting, being paroled, I got found suitable after doing 30 plus years in prison off a 17 to life sentence. When I go out, I want to start my own company in custodian maintenance and uh, pursue this career. I become a better person because of the programs here, at CMC West, uh, Grow Program, CGA, and, and today, uh, HFM, Healthcare Facility Maintenance. Considering that I was a high school dropout, I've never really achieved much uh, throughout life. And because of the likes of this apprenticeship program, I was able to obtain my college degree and, and now um, have this apprenticeship uh, um, certificate as well to take with me uh, upon release. 85% of the people in our institutions will one day go home. And I have to ask myself, what do I want? Just like the quote says, we cannot become what we want to be by remaining who we are. So I ask myself as secretary, what do I want? What I want is for you to succeed. Most definitely the skills are valuable. Um, as of right now, um, based on what I've learned in here, I have a job offer once I am released. I'm very proud of this accomplishment today, sir, because this right here, this is big for me, because this is, gives me a lot of hope, a lot of faith in myself, as well as others, when it, once they see that I've accomplished something. I'm sure my father, my brother, my grandma, if she was still alive, would be very happy to see me doing something positive. They have a history of me doing negative things. The first big graduation we had like this was a youth authority when I graduated high school. Okay. But this was, this was special because this is for the future. High school was just something to pass. This is job readiness. This is something that's gonna help me build skills to support myself and sustain criminal free living once I get out of here. I always say this, my number one crime prevention deterrent, my number one success is, is you guys. When you're successful, I prevent crime and we've led to a better life for both you and everybody else in the community.